so I have a Samsung Smart TV and I'll be showing you how to use your Android phones or even your iPhone's camera as your TV's webcam. So you can actually go ahead and use that in uh, maybe online meetings on Google Meet or any other platform. Also, you can use this for workouts, look at yourself and uh, see what you're doing in a split screen mode with uh, the workout on one side and your camera facing you on the other side. So basically just using your phone's camera as your TV's webcam. Now to do this, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the smart things up on your phone. Now this one's normally come pre-installed on any Samsung phone, but if you don't have a Samsung phone and you have either an iPhone or a different kind of Android phone, then go to the Google Play Store, install the smart things app, and then set up your TV. So once you uh, set up the smart things app, you want to come to devices, and if your TV is not added, then just tap on the plus icon there, and then uh, scan nearby and scan for your TV and add it to the smart things app. Now, once you add it, you just need to come here, select your TV on the smart things app. It's gonna launch the remote, which obviously works, as you can see. But we're not interested in that, so we just close that and. On the TV's page, look for camera sharing. So tap on that. And that's going to launch the camera of your phone and mirror your camera feed to the TV, as you can see. So currently, the more I move my phone, as you can see, it moves on the TV. So basically, I can use this uh, camera from my phone as the webcam for my smart TV, as you can see, okay? So there you go, there's my face, there's my studio in the background, and I can move this around. There is what I'm using to record. And that's it. That's basically how to use your uh, phone's camera as the webcam of your Samsung Smart TV. So you can actually switch between the back and the front camera, as you can see. So that's the uh, back camera and the front camera. You can switch it from there. When you're done, just uh, go back and tap on exit. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.